So when it comes to selling on Amazon, so there can be different challenges for different type of products. For example, if you are selling clothing products, kids products or any fragile products, so there are different challenges for different kind of products. But the challenge about which we are going to be discussing in this video is Amazon listing variation. Because many of these sellers face many issues while listing their products who are having listing variation. For example, if you are selling a product which are having different sizes, so you need to list that product in different sizes. So this is called a simple variation. But for example, if you are selling a t-shirt or shoes, so these kind of products are little complicated to list because in this product, there are more than one variation. For example, you are selling a t-shirt and you are having three sizes and five colors. So if we multiply three by five, we are having 15 variation of that particular product. And if we want to sell or list that product, we need to create 15 different listing and then at the end, combine all those 15 listing into one listing. So people can see that as a one listing and then at the time of purchase, they can select their favorite color and their size before placing the order. So for example, if you are selling a shirt that is having three different sizes, medium, small and large and five different colors, let's say red, green, yellow, brown and black. So, so you need to create combination like you are having three variation of black color, like small black, medium black, large black and same goes for green color, small green, medium green, large green and so on. So to sell these kind of product, you have to make these kind of variations. But to make a variation is not easy because when you're listing your variation for first time, you might get many errors. So in today's video, I'm going to show you step by step on my screen, like how you can list these kind of variation product. So after watching this video, you can also list your product without any error. And the method from which I'm going to list this product is add products via upload, which some people also call flat file. So let's see how we can do it. But before getting started, I was there and I sell my products on Amazon, eBay, Shopify, ClickFunnel and Redbubble. And on this channel, I share my knowledge with you people so you can do the same and build your online business. So if you are interested in learning about the fastest and easiest way to make money online, which can give you profit in your first seven days, then make sure to sign up for my free 30 minutes webinar from the link below. So you can also achieve financial freedom like me and leave you a 9 to 5 job. So without any further delay, let's start the video. All right, so as you can see here, I'm on my laptop right now and here I've opened amazon.com and searched for a product t-shirts because before listing any product, we must need to search that product on Amazon search engine and open one of the listing who are having the same product as ours. So we can just take that listing as an example listing and then copy the same method that they're using. So after searching a t-shirt, when I scroll down, I have to find a listing similar to what I'm going to sell. So you can see that this is a listing which seems the same product as me. So let's open that listing. So after opening that listing, we need to scroll down and see how they are selling. So you can see that there are two variation like size variation and color variation. And when I click on drop down menu, I can see that this seller is selling many sizes like small t-shirts, medium t-shirts, large, extra large, and so on. And for the color and design, you can see that they are having different colors. So for example, if I want to purchase pack of six and I need medium size, so from here, I can select medium and here I can select black pack of six. So in that way, all the six t-shirt of black color will be delivered to my house of medium size. And if I don't want all black color, I want different color. So from here, I can select this different color and here I can select the size. So if you also want to make your listing like this listing, then follow the steps in this video. So after coming to your competitor listing, you need to go down and you need to find their category, like on which category they have listed their product. So from here, you can see that in product details section, we can find that category here, like best seller rank in 12. You can see that the clothing, shoes and jewelry is the main category and the subcategory is men's undershirts. So you need to click on that. So after clicking on your competitor's category, you'll be able to see the hierarchy, the complete hierarchy from which you can just navigate to that category. So you can see that the main category is clothing, then men, then clothing, then underwear, and then last under shirts. So after finding the category, we need to go on Amazon Seller Central and from your Seller Central, go on catalog. And from here, you need to click on add products via upload. And when you click that here on that page, you can see different blocks. So on the right side, you can see the block update product details. So on that block, you can see the button get product template. So you need to click on that. And here you need to click on that product template button. And at last, you need to select your marketplace in which you want to list your product. So in my case, it's amazon.com. And in your case, if you are selling in any other country, so you have to select that marketplace. So when I click on amazon.com, you can see that it is asking me to select the category. So we need to select the same category from here, which we have just found on our competitor listing. So just go there and see the category. 
clothing, men, clothing, underwear, and undershirts. So from there, you need to select on clothing, then men, then again clothing, then go down, select on underwear, and here select on undershirts. So when I select that, you can see that it has selected the category. And when I go down, I need to click on Amazon.com. You can see that it's already clicked. So I need to go down. And here at last, I need to click on generate template. So as soon as I click on this generate template button, you can see that an Excel file has been downloaded to my PC. So then I need to open that Excel file into Google Sheets or into MS Excel in order to edit that. So actually what we have to do is we have to fill in the data about our product in this file and then re-upload that file on Amazon. So Amazon will list our product as per the data present in that file. So whatever our t-shirts color are, whatever are the sizes, what is the title, bullet point, description and every detail. We need to fill out that detail into this file and then after completing that detail, we can save that file and then we can upload that file to Amazon and after uploading in 30 minutes or one hour, the same as our competitor. So let's open that file on Google Sheet. I have opened this file in Google Sheet, but you can open it in MS Excel as well. So after opening that file, you can see that in this file, there are many sheets at the bottom. You can see this one is template on which we are right now. And after template, there's a file called valid values. So these two are the sheets on which we have to work. So from there, you can see that it's asking us for product type, seller SKU, brand name, product name, product ID, and so many fields. So just to make you clear, I am just changing the color of all those columns in which we need to fill out the data. So you can just uh, note down that and then you can just put the data on all those fields and then re-upload the file. So we need to select the product type. We need to put the seller SKU and you can see all these things from manage inventory section of your seller central. So when you go there, you can see your product listing and from there you can see the seller SKU, ASIN, EN or UPC number, whatever you want. So after putting the SKU value, you need to put your title under the product name and here you need to put the product ID. You can just type your ASIN here and here in the product ID type, you can select ASIN. Let's just change the color to green. And when we go forward and from there in the variation section, you need to fill out parent age, parent SKU, relation type, variation theme. Okay. So you need to fill out all these four fields. And when I go forward, you can see that this is the update. So here in this update and delete section, you need to fill partial update. So let's just make it green so it will be easy for you to understand. So all of the values I'm marking green, you need to fill out that. And after that in product description or in bullet point, if you want to put different description for different variation, you can just put it there. Otherwise you can just put the description and bullet point in the parents only from the seller central. So if you have already put the description there, so you don't need to put the description or bullet point here. So when you go forward, in uh, that section you can see that the color and the color map and uh, if you go forward the size and the size map so i'm only putting the value of color and color map here because my teacher is having different color and different sizes for example you are having three colors red yellow and blue and three sizes small medium and large so you need to make four variation here like three variation and one parent and under that three variation in the color you have to type all the color names in the size you have to type all these size name and in the color map, you need to put your color name as well. So they are already green. So let's just make it red. So you will know these four fields we have to fill in here. After putting the values on all of these fields, you just need to save the file and upload it on Amazon. So let me just tell you how you can fill in the values in these fields, and then I'll show you how you can upload this file. So here you can see that in seller SKU, you need to put the SKU. Here you need to put the product name, the product ID, the ASIN, and in product ID type, you need to type ASIN. And when you go forward in these four fields, parent age, parent SKU, relationship type, and variation theme. So in parent SKU, you need to type the parent SKU from seller central. And in these three fields, the parent age and relationship type and variation theme, you need to go to valid values. And then you need to find out the valid values from here. And then you need to select the value that you think that fits best to that place as per your product. So for example, if I copy parentage and I go on valid value and I check here by typing control F, pasting the value. So you can see that in parentage, it is showing me two valid values, the parent and the child. So if you're filling out the parent data in first row, so here you need to type parent. And if you're filling out the child data in rest of the three rows, so here you need to type child, 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 child. So after typing that, you need to click on relationship type 
and let's see what are the valid values of this go on valid value relationship type here so you can see that in relationship type you have to select variation not the accessory not the package contain so in this field you need to type variation in all of the four rows and in variation theme just copy go there paste so here you can see that in variation theme it is giving us many options like the color color size size material size name and all that and if you go forward you can see many of the options here but if you don't need to select many you just need to select color dash size you can just copy that value and paste it here so it will not give you any error so we are selecting here color dash size because our product is having only two variation the color variation and the size variation because our t-shirt are in different size and in different color so after filling out all of the values here in all of the rows you need to go forward and here in update and delete you need to type partial update and just to make sure you don't get any error so you can just copy that value from that valid value sheet so just copy that update delete go there Control F, Control V. Here you can see that partial update. So from here you can just copy that value, go there and paste that value in that field just to make sure you don't type any mistake and you just upload that file without any error. So after filling out all of the data here, you just need to save that file and again you just need to go on Seller Central. On the same page where you have downloaded the file, you can just go up and from here you can just go and upload inventory file and here click on the browse file. And then from your computer, you can just upload that file you have just saved and click on upload file. So after editing that file, after uploading that file, you need to wait for at least 30 minutes or one hour. And then after you can see that your listing will be updated on Amazon Seller Central and on Amazon.com as well. So you will also be able to see the listing variation on your listing. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something great from it. So if you really found my content informative and helpful for you, then make sure to like the video and subscribe the channel as well. So you can watch more and more videos like this in the future. And if you have any question regarding this video or any other topic regarding e-commerce, then you can just chat with me anytime from the link in the description below. So let's meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.